What is up, Jet Nation? What is up, YouTube? Sean back on a episode of the JETS Jet Show. Happy to be back with you guys. We're doing another positional breakdown today. We're going to break down the interior of the offensive line. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button uh, so you get notified of when my next video drops. And something I really like even more than that, guys, is comments. I love hearing from you guys what you guys think, what you have to say. Uh, let, let's talk about some of these uh, questions that are going to be uh, affecting the Jets and some of the you know questions they're going to have to answer uh, this coaching staff in front office over the next couple weeks. Uh, so let's get right into our interior offensive line breakdown. Um, this is a little bit of a tough one. There's a lot of guys here, uh, but after I reviewed them, I kind of broke it down and it seemed a lot more straightforward to me. So. Let's just run down some of the names here. Lincoln Tomlinson, uh, Elijah Vera Tucker, Parker Ferguson, Nate Herberg, Grant Hermans, Derek Kelly, Connor McDermott, Max Mitchell, Ross Peischbacker. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Never heard his name before. Drew uh, Samia and Greg Senat, as well as Connor Mc, uh, McGovern um, at center, obviously. So a lot of guys here. At first, I was like, wow, I don't see a lot of depth. Obviously, our three starters, uh, Connor McGovern at center, Elijah Vera Tucker at moving over to right guard from left, and then Lincoln Tomlinson coming in as the pro bowler to play left guard. You have a really awesome, I mean, really, really awesome starting interior offensive line. Um, after that, you got a bunch of guys here for, uh, for the most part. I felt like we were lacking depth uh, at first, but then I realized Max Mitchell, the rookie, um, can play tackle and guard. Uh, so now that we, now that I remember that, it, it makes me a lot, feel a lot more comfortable. Um, you know, I think Nate Herberg is definitely going to be brought in to be one of those uh, backup interior offensive linemen. I think Dan Feeney's your backup center. Pretty straightforward there. Uh, so I do think you're going to have the three starters, Nate Herberg, Dan Feeney, uh, and I think that's it. I think a lot of these other guys, some of them might make the practice squad. I don't think any of them are going to be pushing for a 53-man roster spot at this point. Um, except, you know, obviously Max Mitchell, I have him as a really as a tackle, but he can play guard as well. So that gives you, you know, another piece, a, a sixth interior defensive lineman, or, I'm sorry, offensive lineman. Um, and I think Max Mitchell's versatility is going to lead me to think that the Jets keep nine total offensive linemen. Um, without him, you have five interior. Um, you have him and Adoga and uh, Becton and Fant on the outside. That's nine guys total. Um, and I think, you know, unless there's some injuries or something like that, I do think that's kind of a likely way we're going to see this interior offensive line shake out. Um, you know, one guy, uh, you know, I do want to kind of see a little bit more um, is uh, Derek Kelly wanted to see what he has to offer in, in you know training camp? I think he could be a great practice squad guy. Maybe develop into some somebody that can contribute as a backup. In the but anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I want to know who you guys have as a dark horse um, at, at that interior offensive line spot. Somebody we may not be thinking of that you think could potentially push to make the 53-man roster or be a valuable you know, future piece that we, you know, stash away on the practice squad. But uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Peace.